Miss Jamie from the Hedberg Public Library. Welcome to May's Library Shorts. We've all heard April showers bring May flowers, and so this month's Library Short is all about writing and flowers. And we're going to start off by reading kind of a silly story, and then we'll do a little writing activity. So, let's read Fran's Flower. This book is written by Lisa Bruce and it's published by Harper Collins Publishers. Thank you for letting us use this book. Franz Flower. One day, Fran found a flower pot filled with soil. Poking out of the top was a tiny green tip. I will grow this flower, Fran said to Fred. And look, I just happen to have a little flower just like Fran's. Hmm. She took it home. Grow flower, she said, but the tip stayed tiny. I think this flower is hungry, Fran said. So Fran went to the fridge. Inside she found some of her favorite food. She gave the flower a slice of pizza. The next day Fran gave it a piece of cheeseburger. Then she gave it spaghetti, two chocolate chip cookies, and a large spoonful of strawberry ice cream. Hmm, do you think that's going to help the flower bloom? She even gave it one of Fred's juicy bones. But the flower didn't grow. The tip stayed tiny. Fran got fed up. Silly flower, Fran said, and she threw it out the back door. The flower pot fell onto the ground and rolled away. The rain fell on it. The wind blew on it. The sun shone on it. Finally, the tiny green tip grew and grew and grew until one day Fran and Fred went outside to play. When they opened the door, a surprise was waiting. A big, beautiful flower just for Fran. And that is the story of Fran's flower. And look, my flower grew too. It's gorgeous. Now, for our writing um, worksheet, or our writing activity for this month, we're going to decide how we would take care of a flower, how we would plant a seed and grow one. And you can follow the steps. What were the steps for Fran? Let's see. One, she found a flower already starting to grow. So she kind of skipped a few steps. Then what did she do? That's right. She fed it all sorts of crazy things like pizza and even a dog bone. So those were the next steps for Fran. And then what happened? She got frustrated and she kicked it out of the house. And that's where it got good for the flower, right? Because when it got put outside, what happened? The rain fell on it, the wind blew on it, the sun shone down, and sure enough, the flower bloomed. And that was how Fran planted and grew her flower. This month, I have a writing sheet for you and it's all about how to plant a flower. And you'll think about the different supplies that you might need and the steps that you'll want to follow. And that's how you'll decide how to plant your flower. And then if you'd like, you can write it into a story, kind of like Fran's flower, and draw some pictures to go with it. The back of our sheet this month has some bumblebees and a beautiful flower to color. So if you would like this little activity sheet, go ahead and stop at any of the um, desks at your local library and they should have access to it. And you can download this sheet to help you plan how to plant a flower. If you'd like to check out a book like Fran's Flower, just call your library or stop in and I'm sure your librarian will help you find some wonderful books about flowers. And happy writing and happy gardening. Bye guys. 